This is the most wonderful audience, and they don't treat you like a star. I mean, you're kind of like a neighbor or you know, old friend, and uh, people will talk to me on the street all the time, and uh, it's just an honor. Well, we're going to give them a look back. Paula Eben is sharing the reflections of people who were with Jack in his early days here at WBZ. Take a look. Good evening. I'm Jack Williams. So Jack came here in 1975. As I say, he was Pocatello, Idaho's gift to New England. Here's what's happening. Jack Williams. For 40 years, he's anchored the news desk at WBZ. And in a way, he's anchored Boston. You know Jack Williams. You've grown up with him. You know who he was. You know who he is. So you can trust what he has to say. Through the 1980s and 90s, Liz Walker was part of that iconic anchor team known simply as Jack and Liz. That era was magical. Nobody took themselves that seriously. We certainly took our jobs seriously, but we liked each other and we respected each other, and so it was fun. It was also a time of serious issues, and Jack's steady hand calmed a jittery city. Jack Williams, and here's the very latest on what has been a tragic day in U.S. history. When you had a 9-11 a story, when you had the Charles Stewart story, when you had the marathon bombing story. Jack most often was the guy at the anchor desk who he had the contacts. So. That trademark professionalism ran the gamut of topics, according to former arts and entertainment reporter Joyce Culhaywick. When one of us looks good, we all look good. And he got that loud and clear. He was the consummate professional when it came to the team spirit. <laughs> <laughs> what Jack could really do is make anyone laugh. His sense of humor is often his greatest asset. Jack is one of the funniest men I know, and I don't know if that comes out on TV very often, but he is a hoot. He should have been a game show host. There's no doubt about it. He was Bob Barker before there was Bob Barker. After spending three weeks inside the Soviet Union... But in the end, Jack was an award-winning journalist who traveled the globe to bring the story home. A lifetime of experiences that gave Bostonians a rare insight into the world around us. When you have a strong work ethic, excellent study habits, and journalistic integrity built up over the course of decades and in one marketplace, that's why he's such a jewel, such a priceless Boston jewel.